and that we're on the board of directors. You know, we're not ordinary people anymore. We have our Rolls Royces sitting out in the driveway with our chauffeurs waiting to take us to our Learjet so we can go to the Caribbean for the weekend. We've got $100 million in venture capital money, and we've been charged with developing a new online website, a new online dating service. So, we're the board of directors. We can do whatever we want to do. So, how are we going to do it? How are we going to design a new online dating service that will dominate the market and take business away from those sites that already exist? I'd say, it, since it seems that all of our impression of eHarmony is mainly kind of old or married, you know, for marriage maybe, is that the mm -hmm. feeling? Mm -hmm. It's got to have different tiers. I don't think the advertising should be so set on that marriage for to have the avenue for people who are just looking for casual dating. So, I don't think it should be focused on one. Haley, you were about to say something. Um, I don't know if you were getting at this or not, but more than just the advertising to different tiers, it actually has to be designed as different tiers. And so you decide when you sign up what type of seriousness, you know, exactly. how serious you want the relationship to be and what exactly you want out of the service. Mm -hmm. And it, it has to be like that if you compete with all dating internet services. That's an interesting idea that you could, as a part of your registration or signing up, you could, you know, I'm interested in casual dating, long-term relationship, or that you would sort of categorize where you are and, and what you want at that point. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting idea. I think you also do some soul searching, though, too. You know, there's some, apparently, that don't get as deep as some of the others, but I think that there needs to be a good variety. Of, so if you know you choose to do the casual dating, then maybe it's not so deep. You know the questions with that direction aren't so deep. If you're looking for maybe long term, the questions are a little bit more deep. You know I think that you could determine with a click of a button which way you want to go with that. So are we saying that we're deciding to create a website for all types of dating, or do we want to look at where we can maybe focus on one area, we can just get the most people. I mean, we could focus on everyone, like we said, the more serious daters, the casual daters, and all of that, or do we want to focus on one target group, whatever we think the largest group would be, so that we can have the most customer clients. Um, so you're saying, you're saying, sh should we target young people, or old people, or serious people? Right. Uh, I think it might be easier to well, of course, I mean, if you Even choose really one target, idea. then you can do that one thing 100% instead of, you know. Mm -hmm. It might be easier to market, I think. But you could do what she said, but then still target someone by the different types of ads you could put out at the yeah. different times of the day. And that gives kind of consumer confusion, though, yeah. that it's not, I don't know if it's really recognized in your mind. It seems like eHarmony is so strong in our minds because it's so targeted. Well, Julie's question is a real key business question. Who do we focus on? Do we try to be all things to all people, or do we try to focus on one segment of the market? I mean, I would say you want to focus on one segment of the market. Just like I said, I mean, if you focus on one, then you can put, you know, 100% into that. And then I would say we should focus on something that we're all familiar with, which would be our age category. Um, um, with the competition though, I think, I don't know a lot about dating sites, but something I've learned recently is there are all kinds of them out there. There's, you know, big, beautiful women. There's the fetish dating sites. And I, I, you're losing a lot of people by being so targeted too, in a way. That do you leave within these tiers also these more well, maybe you can even target it more to an age group and then have the tiers. At least you cut it down to someone. Because if you're trying to hit right. the college students and the second marriage elderly people, you know, that's going to be, I, I think it would be really tough to target all of those people. But yeah, maybe if you did target the 20 somethings and then somewhere in the criteria right. of, what, mm -hmm. of your profile, you could. It feels like those types of questions would be addressed in 
like the the survey part of it, you mm -hmm. know, like what their what their preferences are like within that age group. So. I was thinking, yeah, like in the commercials, like eHarmony, we know they all got married, or most of them. But uh, yeah, we would just have to, have, I don't know, to get all that information across in a commercial. Like I said, I think it would be maybe some confusion. Mm -hmm. Well, this whole question of targeting inter interrelates, I think, with another question, and that is how do we make this site unique and different? If we're just like all of the other sites, we're probably not going to be very successful. You know, how do we make it unique and different? And part of that might be through targeting, or it might be through some other means. I think I would have to know a lot more about the sites to be able to give any answers. Like, you know, the first thing that came to my mind was stats, but I'm sure that's already being done. I mean, they obviously... Stats? You know, um, the, this percentage is successful. The psychological testing? Yeah. Is that what you're referring to? This, this is I just don't know what they do that that popped into my head and maybe just maybe start some brainstorming. But um, what if you could just even advertise that they have socials and get-togethers? You know, they have cruises for like the homosexual cruises or the elderly cruises and the single cruises. But you could advertise that not only do we have the online dating, but we have these gatherings and these mm -hmm. socials. You know, we get together in Florida, we go on this cruise, or you know, we do different things. And that would just be one little part of it, but it would be a little different than the rest. Or like the knot, how it has, you know, areas. Or they do things things. offline, is what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, but you asked around the table our secrets, you know, for your Metroplex, where are those areas? It, so it's not only online dating, but it's also tips. So and you can see where people where are else. hanging out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you could, you know, find someone that hangs out at the same place as you. Mm -hmm. or, but then are we getting the people offline if we do that? You know what I mean? If we're sending them all to a bar, then they're not going to stay online. Plus, we're not leaving ourselves open for a big suit. Because we're sending all the customers to a bar. It's a sponsorship security. <laughs> no, 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 no. Websites do that. I mean, they just, they're giving you ideas. and Yeah. yeah. So, would, Marisa, you were saying. Well, I just said, you know, if. Um, if, if our website, you know, said, okay, well, here's the, the Metroplex and, you know, uh, the bar, um, you know, and we, we actually name the bar and these people go to this bar and something happens to them, like, you know, a lady was raped and, and then she, well, I'm just mm -hmm. saying that she could possibly sue, sue us no. for, I mean, for having the name. Keep, keep going. I think we're, I think I'm we're, saying that we're, we're definitely open for legal Right. Issues. So, so you've raised a very important point that we have to be very careful that we protect ourselves legally, regardless of what we do. That's a very important point. And I think uh, Gretchen, you and Claire were, you were, I guess, just a moment ago, you were saying something, and I'm not sure. Oh uh, well, we were talking about how um, how would we, you know, taking people away from the website and stuff, sing to the bar or something. Well, you know, you would lose interest in the website. But then, if you had this bar give you financial money for you to have your party there then that makes So this is kind of an interesting idea because maybe you have a, a website maybe we say this is the Dallas Fort Worth website mm -hmm. and we then plan you know churches could advertise their youth programs or singles programs on our website and bars could advertise and we could be selling both sides of the street. That kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking more of the, the website would host events. Uh -huh. That's what yeah. my I think that's, a, that's a very so interesting idea. Employees of the website at these events. You're it, saying like if they're if they were the host. Right. So they, they would be so the employees of the website. Saturday night events. we're going to have uh, entertainment mm -hmm. and a dance. Mm -hmm. uh, and then here. ways to meet people are there. Maybe there you know maybe I don't know, maybe not speed dating but. That's where you sit around the table, you know, right. speed dating, and, and uh, <laughs> like one time for Valentine's Day, I went to a grocery store, <laughs> and it was a, I can't remember, they had a clever name for it, but you go to the grocery store, and you walk around, you can meet people, and you have a, uh, I don't even think you have a name tag, I think you had a number, and if you, like, you know, number 27 has a nice forearm, <laughs> you can write, give that to the announcer guy up front, and you say, hey, number whatever I, number I said he was, 27. 27. Number four thinks she had really nice forearms or meet me by the produce. And then they'd have little games for people to get to know each other. You know, you have to toss a cantaloupe or something. <laughs> like your cantaloupe. No, the only problem with that idea is that how do you limit the website to that certain area? Because a lot of times those cruises, people won't do it because it costs so much money. 
to go fly to the place to have a cruise or whatever. So if you limit yourself to one area where you throw one party, but like, so you, you travel? can do it for your metroplex, you can do it for your area too. Just like you're not going to go day to guy in California, you're going to day to guy in your area. Exactly. So maybe in the metroplex areas, they would have a party or a get together. And then, yeah, only the people that could afford a cruise would go on the cruise. Do you want a day that can't afford a cruise? <laughs> 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 but how many employees would you have to have, or would you just fly these people to the place to have the party? You well, hopefully, the people that sign up are from that area and they just oh, go. No, 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 I'm just saying, like, to host it. I know, I, 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 I understand, like but there are people that, I'm sorry, they have a hundred million dollars of venture capital, I yeah. assume you would yeah. afford various offices in different parts of the nation, so mm -hmm. it might not be like so bad. Yeah. And there are, the con what do they call convention planners, party planners, mm -hmm. and there are businesses that, that do just, just that, and then you do, yeah, you do send your I just, know. Uh, two or three employees to it, mm -hmm. I think that's how most businesses do it. I think this is a great idea because it gets back to when we were talking about where do you meet people and it's always at social gatherings mm -hmm. and friends of friends and this is a roundabout way of getting at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you would sort of, uh, we, we would sign people up online, uh, create a community online, but then have in that geographic area various kinds of, of social events. Mm -hmm. I think only would, every once in a great while though, not all the time. Come on, <laughs> executives. Well, <laughs> tell me, I don't know. have to do it all the time in order for it to be interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. I don't want to have to get online every week to find somebody to to talk to or to date because I want I do better face to face mm -hmm. than I do typing out my misspelled words. And yeah, I guess my idea was. Not only is it online, because if it was something all the time, like we always meet at this bar on this day of the month or whatever, then it is going to take the people away from our website. They don't need mm -hmm. us anymore. But if these people, you know, form relationships online, and then we have a gathering that's less uh, uncomfortable because everyone's there for the same reason, and there's, you know, little games and different things to do. You know, it's like, it's a bonus. That's a bonus of being part of our online dating was to have these little get-togethers. That was mine. No, that, you know, I think about it. I think one of those websites already does that. Because if I remember being the restaurant one time, they had a big singles dot where they all had met, like, online, but then they had, like, this, they ate dinner at this place, and then they were all swept up in limos and taken mm. astray. I don't know where they went, but <laughs> I remember being at that restaurant. It was, like, a big party, and, like, all the limos had this. The website sign on it. Well, we need to advertise nationally because obviously they don't do a very good job because we never heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's right. Yeah, probably probably not, but, but another thing I was thinking of, like as far as the spontaneity of meeting someone in an in a not online environment, um, for those people who are more comfortable starting or instigating a relationship on the computer because it takes away, you know, the the anxiety factor of meeting that person face to face. But if our website had a, like forums, like for instance, like where people could engage in various topics of discussion. So you could choose to do a profile or you could choose to um, go to the forums and meet people by discussing things that are important to you. And you know, I guess they could have themes of discussion or, or it can be, like, there could be some with, where they're open discussion, you can discuss anything. So that, that is a more um, spontaneous version of, of online socializing, it would seem. Like chat rooms? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chat rooms organized by subject, um, mm -hmm. social events that we would plan and sponsor. How else could we make it unique and different? Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of great ideas. We still have 99 million. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could maybe instead of incorporating just photographs, there could be, I don't, well, that might not be so practical because not everybody has a, like a little webcam. I know I don't have one. Um, but maybe that could be an option, like if you had like a webcam or something like that, or like a digital camera that took short video clips, you could like do a video introduction of yourself. This is an interesting idea. So maybe a video clip of each person that you can view. Uh, yeah, to, maybe. To, 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 as a part of the determination of whether you wanted to meet that person.
person. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Kind of how dating services started out in the beginning. Uh -huh. You'd go make a video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, yeah. You see him on television. I'm trying to yeah. That's a good idea. Oh, That's a good idea because you do get love more of the personal love connection. connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if, like, when you signed up, you were sent one of those webcams? Ooh, that's yeah. good. To be part of your sign-up mm -hmm. package, and then you can do your online video. Mm -hmm. Now we have 20 But that could be easy. <laughs> Is that women are most likely the ones to sign up themselves or their You think women are more likely to sign up for an online dating service than a man? I think so. Why? Why would yeah. you think that? Because women want, women are, we're just driven, we want that love and we want that companionship and all. And because there is the desperation factor, I think the men worry about that even more than the women. Men don't want to be wimps or, I don't know, or I can get it. I think the woman would have more problem with the shame than the guy will look anywhere. Maybe it goes back to the well, they're so simple-minded, of course, if we're going to do it, we make the damn right. Like, it's shallow anyway. Who cares about that? I do have a couple guy friends that are on those websites. I mean, I don't know them as well, but, like, either their friends signed them up or their mom signed them up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the truth. They do. Cause their mom's so we'll put a question on our website. Did your mom sign up? <laughs> and the mom will click no. <laughs> I mean, I think if you start, if you're like, if you're starting a company, why, you know, start targeting women, and then mm -hmm. you can start really into, but you're not going to get someone's attention for eHarmony or something like that during sports center. You're just not. I mean, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Well, if you made a really hot commercial, but then what kind of <laughs> website are you promoting? Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. If you advertise in the man show. <laughs> During the Super Bowl. <laughs> Does everybody watch the Super Bowl? But like you said, always. you always see them on the O channel, and that's because yeah. they are targeting the women, and mm -hmm. you see a lot of the match sites on right. women's channels. Well, I think y'all have done an absolutely fabulous job, and I greatly appreciate uh, y'all coming and, and helping us with this tonight. Um, this um, unfolded um, uh, in, in a very positive way, and, and I think we uh, learned quite a bit uh, about forearms that we didn't know before. <laughs> and so with all this information, I'm sure we'll be able to design a great online dating service. So thank you so very much for coming. Y'all have been terrific. I appreciate all of your help, and thank you for coming tonight. Thank you. Thank you. So we're officially finished, and now you can tell me. Now you can tell me.